Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to take screenshots with Windows 11 using the Snipping Tool application. Snipping Tools is a new app for Windows 11 that replaces the legacy Snipping Tool and Snip and Sketch apps. The new version combines the two applications into one new experience that looks similar to the old Snipping Tools but it integrates the best features of Snip and Sketch. Okay, so here is how to take screenshots on Windows 11. The app allows you to take screenshots in two ways. You can use the Windows Shift S keyboard shortcut to bring up the snipping menu, or you can open the app and use that interface to make the capture, which is the easiest way to take screenshots on Windows 11. So to do that, first open Start and look for the snipping tool and click the top result to open the app. Then open the application or what you're trying to take a screenshot of. In this case, I'm just going to open the settings app. Then use the snipping mode menu to select the kind of a screenshot that you want to take. For example, the window mode allows you to take a screenshot of an active window. And to take a screenshot on Windows 11, using the snipping tool, just click the new button and then select the window that you want to capture. Then the screenshot is going to open into the interface where you have different tools to annotate the image. You can use a highlighter. You can use a pen. You have an eraser to delete annotations that you made to the image. If you have a touch enable device, you can use this option to use your finger to annotate into the image. And there's even a ruler that allows you to create more precise strokes. And you even have a protector as well. If you need to crop the image, you can use the cropping tool. To make sure that the image size is what you want. Then you can save the image to a file using PNG, JPEG, or GIF format. You can copy to the clipboard and paste it on a document. And you can use the share interface to share that image with email or another application. Now, if you want to take a screenshot of the entire screen on the snipping mode menu, make sure to select the full screen mode and then click the new button. And as you can see, now we have full screen capture. Now let's go back to the app and let's look at the rectangle mode, which allows you to select a region using a rectangle mode. And to do that, we're just gonna click the new button and then we're going to select the region that we want. And finally, we can use the freeform mode that allows us to take a screenshot in any way we like. Another option that you have with the snipping tool is the ability to delete a screenshot. And you can do that for three seconds, five seconds, or 10 seconds. In this new version of the snipping tool, it is also possible to configure many settings and to do that you will open the menu and then you will choose the settings option and inside of the page you can configure many aspects of the application including the ability to auto copy the screenshot to the clipboard which is on by default you can turn on the ability for the application to prompt you to save the image before closing the application if you're about to capture multiple screenshots, you can use this option to open each screenshot on a separate window. Another interesting feature that you will find on the new snipping tool for Windows 11 is the snipping outline. And when you enable this feature, it allows you to add border to the screenshot. And you can change the color and you can choose the thickness. Finally, under the appearance section, you can switch the app theme. By default, it's using the system setting, but you can change it to the light or dark mode from this page. 
and you will need to restart the application to apply the changes. So by default, when using the snipping tool application, you need to use that Windows key shift S keyboard shortcut to bring up the tools. But if you want, you can also change this behavior so you can access the application to take a screenshot by just pressing the print screen key on the keyboard. And to change that, you will open the settings and then under shortcuts, click the change in settings option for print screen shortcut and then on the settings app make sure to turn on the use the print screen button to open screen snipping and now i can simply press the print screen button in the keyboard to bring up the snipping tools menu and that is how you take screenshots on windows 11 using the new snipping tools application. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.